Today, we're happy to introduce you iKit 3.16. It's all about accessibility and keyboard interaction. So everything to make your UIKit website WCAG compliant. But that's not all. There's also a new flexible drop-nav component that adds drop-down menus to any navigation type. Want to know more? Let's take a look. Web accessibility is a very important part of any website, as it ensures that all users have access to the content of your site. Finally, we made UIKit a fully accessible front-end framework. Now, all JavaScript UI components like Slideshow, Lightbox, and Dropdown are accessible out of the box. They follow the Accessible Rich Internet Application Suite, which defines a way to make web content accessible. Let's take a look in detail. Our interactive JavaScript components now use all relevant WAI ARIA roles, states, and properties so they're readable and operable using assistive technologies like screen readers. They automatically set the required HTML attributes in the markup. This is different for each component, so if you're interested in all the details, take a look at the corresponding documentation. Additionally, all interactive JavaScript components are also keyboard accessible. Here, we implemented the common keyboard navigation convention in which you can use the tab and shift tab keys to move focus from one component to another and other keys like arrow keys to move focus inside of components that include multiple focusable elements. For example, in a navbar, you can use arrow left and right keys to move between the main menu items and arrow up and down keys to move inside a dropdown. Of course, each component has a dedicated documentation explaining the relevant keyboard keys. UIKit also supports language internalization of its components. Since we automatically add default text for the ARIA label attributes, these texts can be translated. You can find the translation strings in the corresponding component documentation and learn how to translate them in the internalization documentation. This release makes our JavaScript components fully accessible. But of course, whether your website complies to the WCAG 2.1 standards also depends on the colors of your UIKit theme and your markup. We added a documentation on how to improve the color contrast, as well as instructions for each component like form and breadcrumbs, which WI area roles, states, and properties need to be set manually depending on the markup. If you still find the components are lacking accessibility or the documentation needs further improvements, please let us know and open an issue or pull request for the documentation or UIKit on GitHub. But that's not all. There's also a new drop nav component. We abstracted the functionality to create drop down menus from the nav bar, so you can now create drop down menus for any navigation, for example, a sub nav. The drop nav will automatically initialize all drop downs in the navigation with the same options, so there is no need to initialize them individually. By the way, did you know that drop downs in UIKit are aim aware? They stay open as long as the mouse pointer moves towards the drop down. There is also an additional delay before closing even if a mouse pointer shortly moves in another direction. Finally, in hover mode, the drop downs immediately close when another menu item is hovered. Another great feature of the dropnav is that it can show content of the dropdowns within a drop bar. The drop bar extends to the full width of the viewport and adjusts its height to the open dropdown. And of course, the dropnav has the same accessibility pattern and keyboard interaction as the nav bar. The drop component has a new parent icon to indicate that an element toggles a drop. It can be used in buttons, subnavs, or tabs. Similar to the navbar parent icon, it inherits the text color. Additionally, we added a smooth transition to both the navbar and drop parent icon animation. UIKit icon library got a small update as well. We added seven new icons i, i slash, and crosshairs, as well as Android, Android Robot, Apple, and Microsoft. We also updated the Lifesaver, Paint Bucket, and Video Camera icons to fit the overall UIKit outline style. Of course, UIKit 3.16 comes with a lot of other smaller improvements and fixes. For example, the Lightbox now supports YouTube Shorts URLs. And to ensure a smooth animation and a better performance, 
the parallax component adds the will change CSS property. And whenever possible, the sticky component uses the native CSS position sticky property. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the change log. There are breaking changes for the dropdown and navbar components. We moved functional CSS from dropdown, dropbar, and navbar components to the drop component, which is why we had to rename some HTML classes. So please take a look at the migration guide. We are happy that all our interactive JavaScript components are now fully accessible and meet the WI ARIA standards. And the new dropdown will give you great flexibility to create dropdown menus for any navigation. And now it's your turn to share feedback, so let us know what you think about this release in the comments below.